Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the fourth forces problem that is new bakery. Okay, so Bob is the person who has decided to open a bakery, but on the opening day he bid n ones that he can sell. The usual price of a one is AI coins, but to attract customers, Bob organized the following promotion. Bob chooses some integer k that is zero to minimum of n comma v. Bob sells first k once at a modified price. In this case, the the price of the i sold one is v i v minus i plus one coins. Okay, the remaining will be the n minus k once are sold at the usual price that is a coins. Okay. So k can be zero. Bob will sell all the ones at a coins each. We need to determine the maximum profit of Bob. That is the case. But if you see, okay, n can b can be anything. That is the good thing. Okay. So let's see the first example. How can he sold? So four, four, four and five. That is n, a, and b. Right. So if he chooses k equal to one, that means he wants to sell only one one with the modified price. That means he can sell. Five and remaining will be the four, four and four. Right, this thing. This will be the twelve, and the first one will be the five. That is seventeen. So that is our answer. But here is the catch: if he is opening some new shop, that but he should sold his products on a lesser price, but he is not doing like that. <laughs> okay, so that's the case. You can take it light. Let's see the another case for understanding. So here we have five, five, and nine. That is n a b, right? So what he can do? He can try to sell nine, one one at nine, and another eight, seven, six, and five. So the summation of this will be the thirty-five. So he don't need to sell at this price a equal to five. He can choose a equal to five simply and sell. All the ones at the modified price. That is the goal. Let's see one more example. In third case, it has ten, ten, and five. So now you here you can see B is five, right? That means if he sell his any product. Not product like one at five. That means he can't pro uh, maximize his profit. That means there is a problem. So he will not go in this direction and choose k equal to zero and sell all the products at the usual price. That is ten into ten. Right. So that that will be hundred. And that is our answer. Similarly, go on. Okay. No, so, so how can we solve this problem? So the idea is, we need to find the sum first. How many products we need to sell with B price, B minus I plus one price, or how many products we need to sell with A price? That is our goal. So what we need to do? Okay, let me explain with the code. Yeah. So what we need to do? We just need to take the input and declare the answer variable. And the main thing, like if the modified, the maximum modified price is smaller than in the starting, 
then A, and he don't need to sell at V. He will sell all the one at the usual price, that is A. Okay. Else, if that is not the case, he need to find how many products he can sell with the modified price, that is B minus A. Okay. So, again, we need to find that P is greater than N. That means he has ability to sell 10, 10 pieces, but he can maximum sell only N. Then that means that he can't sell those many pieces. So in that case, he can sell N and the price, the starting price will be the B minus n plus 1 that is the starting price so what what we are doing we are trying to find the sum of the ap that has common difference 1 and the number of items so that is n by 2 n by 2 divided by the first item this and the second item will be the b the last value and we will we need to divide by 2 that will give the sum. So that is our answer in this case. If not, but it may be possible that P is less than or equal to 1. That means you can sell only 1 price or uh, 1 1 with the price of B or 0. So you can directly calculate that. Otherwise, what we need to do? He can sell P. So here we have P divide by 2 that is a similar scenario and a a is the minimum price and b plus 1 right b plus 1 is the maximum price you can sell okay so the summation of this will give the answer but let's say if he can sell only yeah he can he need to sell 5 but he is able to sell, uh, sell only two pieces with the modified modified price. Then what do we need to do? We need to calculate this n minus p, the remaining one that we will send with the usual price that is some value a. So we need to add that value in the answer and that's it. That is the solution for this question. Hope you understood the solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you and keep coding.